So I hope uh, you are clear with the flash comparator ADC. So this is the second ADC which is called as a successive approximation ADC. Okay, successive approximation red ADC that is analog to digital converter. Here also we are providing the analog input and we are receiving the digital output. Okay, so uh, so the construction. I just explain the construction. After the explanation of construction, we'll try to understand what the, how the principle or how actually it works. So this successive approximation ADC consists of important register that is SAR. Okay, successive approximation register. So the abbreviation of SAR is successive approximation register. And what is the width of that register? It is a 4 bit register. 4 bit, 4 bit successive approximation register. And this is the one important block that we are using in this construction. Coming to the second block, you are using the DAC. Very very important. Within the ADC, you are using the DAC. Okay? You are in, you are actually you are constructing the analog to digital converter. Within the analog to digital converter, you are using one more converter that is called as a DAC. I'll explain why you are using the DAC in ADC. Okay? So that is also a 4-bit DAC. Okay? So first is SAR, that is a 4-bit SAR. Next comes a 4-bit DAC. And that 4-bit DAC is uh, and that 4-bit DAC can be anything. Either it can be a binary weighted resistor DAC or it can be a R2 or ladder DAC. Anyway, we are not going in depth what actually is there. Okay, so this is the two important blocks. Along with that, we are using the latch. Latch is nothing but a storage element, right? Now you understand. I will just explain what is latch, flip flop, all those things in the next module. Okay, if I am going to the latch, then it will be a completely a different concept. So right now what you have to understand is a latch is a storage element, okay, which will be storing some value and it will be displaying the same value whatever it has been stored. Okay, you just uh, uh, remember that latch is a storage element, okay, that is also a 4-bit latch. And very very important in the exam, don't write SAR, DAC and latch. You have to specify its width, that is 4-bit SAR, 4-bit DAC, 4-bit latch. Along with these three, components you are also using the compactor i hope you are well known about the compactor because we have already discussed this concept in the flash ADC right so the compactor again it is having a positive terminal and the negative terminal okay so there is a compactor so these are the four blocks okay compactor SAR DAC and match so these are the four important blocks you require in order to construct the sound now I will tell you how the inputs and outputs are being transferred or it is uh, moving from one block to another block. Okay. So to the comparator, let me start from here. Okay. To the comparator, you are giving your analog input voltage. Because we are designing the analog to digital converter, right? So therefore, we are giving the analog input voltage and that is represented by V in. Okay. Input voltage that is represented by V in. So one input voltage is provided to the negative terminal of the comparator and another input to this comparator is coming from the 4-bit DAC. Okay? The another input, I repeat once again, very very important, the SAR, this is a successive approximation question, will be asked to 6 to 8 marks in the exam, very very important and it is very easy also. Okay? So another input that is coming to the comparator is from the DAC. If you see the R mark here, it is coming from the DAC and that is represented by VA, that is analog input voltage. Why it is represented as VA and why it is represented as V? Why it is represented as VA because we know that the digital to analog converter will be always giving the output as what? It will be taking the data as digital and it will be providing the output as analog. So therefore, since it is providing the output as an analog, we are right to write we are representing it as VA, that is analog of analog voltage. So V in is given to one terminal and VA is given to another terminal of the comparator and that VA is nothing but the output of 4 bit DAC. I hope you are clear with the comparator and what the inputs are provided now. So this output of the comparator is connected 
to SAR that is a 4 bit SAR still I am explaining the construction itself still I have not went to the principle ok the output of the comparator is again given as an input to the 4 bit SAR that is successive approximation register and this successive approximation register will work based on the clock pulses so this is the clock pulse for each rising end of the clock pulse this will be operated so these are the clock pulses when there is a clock pulse then only it will work ok so what are the outputs that it is coming from SAR serial data output it is coming next the input for SAR one, one more input to the SAR is start conversion start conversion is also one more input and latch enable so these are the three terms you have to remember ok start conversion latch enable and serial data output so these are the terms that we are connected to SAR ok so whatever the output that is coming from SAR that is Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 whatever I am putting in a blue color now if you are not able to see I am repeating once again the output that is coming from 4 bit SAR is represented as Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0 the same thing whatever we are giving for the DAC the same thing is also going to the latch so if you just see these lines see here so whatever the Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 the digital data that is coming from the SAR to the DAC the same thing is also going to the latch that is 4 bit latch and the output whatever the output that is coming from the latch is represented by D1, D2, D3, D4 D1 will be always MSP that is the most significant bit and D4 will be always the least significant bit ok this is the complete construction part ok so now let me assume let me start uh, explaining the principle ok so how this actually the successive approximation ADC will work so how to initiate this so if you want to start this appro uh, approximation ADC to work first you have to start with the start conversion whenever you are activating the start conversion so this SAR will be updated I mean the SAR will get activated so whenever the start conversion this is an input signal right so whenever the start conversion signal is enabled or active so uh, uh, this SAR the 4 bit attack and 4 bit SAR will be active so once it is active it will be providing the output of SAR as 1000 this is very very important you cannot ask why it is giving 100 it will it is designed like that and once it has been activated the output from 4 bit SAR will be 1000 what is the equivalent of 100 so 1000 means what 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 that is nothing but 8 this is the decimal equivalent of 1000 so now uh, 1000 will be the output directly coming from SAR ok now let me assume that my analog input voltage is equal to 7 volts ok assuming I am assuming that my analog input voltage is equal to 7 volts and whatever the output that is coming from the 4 bit SAR is 8 ok you cannot represent as 1100 or 1010 you cannot represent it ok initially once you are enabling the start conversion once the SAR is activated it will be 100 itself 1000 itself at the initially at initial condition it will be 100 and this is the assumption the 7 volts is my assumption analog input will be 7 volts let me assume in order to explain the principle I am assuming the 7 volts now now tell me 7 volts is coming to the comparator to the negative terminal of the comparator and what is VA VA is the analog output voltage so 8 has to be converted to the analog value so this 8 1000 has to be converted to analog voltage so this is my analog voltage so if you want to convert my digital representation that is having 4 bits to a single output which is having a single quantity see here 4 lines are there that is input only one line is there that is output if I want to convert the 4 bit representation to one quantity I have to use a DAC right I have to use a DAC itself so 1000 is being converted to the decimal equivalent by 
digital to analog converter. So once 10000 is converted to the analog value, what is the value we are getting here? We are getting 8 volts. So now the compactor, what it is doing? It is comparing. It is comparing the 7 volts with 8 volts, which is greater. Positive terminal quantity is greater. That is, 8 volts is greater. So once the 8 volts is greater, you will be getting the comparator output as 1. Right? So the comparator output will be 1 if the quantity that is coming to the positive terminal is greater than the quantity that is coming to the negative terminal. So even if you one one, right? if the comparator output is 1, then what will be the 4 bit SIR output that is coming here? And remember one more important thing. Whatever it is coming here, the same thing will be reflected to the latch as well. I have already told the latch is nothing but the storage element. Whatever 1000 is the If it has been changed to another value, means it again changes the same thing in the 4 bit latch. Now, still it is 1000 itself. Now, what is the compact output that has came here? This one. So, once the compact output is 1, the 4 bit SIR will change into the other value. It will be no more 1000. It will be another value. What is that value? You will understand with respect to that conversion process. So, now 100 was 1000 was the initial value that it is coming from SIR, right? Now, if VN, if VN is greater than the analog output voltage, that what, that's what if VIN is greater than VA, it has to go towards up. If VIN is less than VA, then it has to come down. Okay? So now in this particular case, VIN is less than VA because 7 is less than 8 volts. So therefore, it, should, it will not take the upward direction. It will not go towards up. It will come towards down. So once it is coming towards down, what happens? So 1000 will be converted to or it will be changed to 0100. So how I have to remember all these things? I will just explain. Okay. So 1000 will become 0100. MSB will be, MSB was 1. Right? MSB was 1. Now, since it has, since begin is less than VA, this MSB will be vanished or it will be transferred to 0. And the next position, whatever that is there after MSB, that will be turned to 1. And then, this position position becomes 0. So that's what happened 0, 1, 0, 0. And then, 8, 4. This is 4. And then, come back. 8 is becoming 2 equal to 4. Now, so this 1, 0, 0, 0, that is 0, 1, 0, 0, that is equal to what? 4. So that 4 will also come here because my that, that work is what it has to convert the digital representation to analog value. Again it will check whether 7 is greater or 4 is greater, 7 is greater. So therefore Vn is greater than Va. So if Vn is greater than Va, it has to go upwards. It should not again start from here, it has to start from here because we have already come down from the, from the first process. Now, again, it has to check whether it has to go upwards or downwards. How it will go either upwards or downwards? Based on this comparison, if V is greater than VA, right? Since 7 is greater than 4 volts, it will go up. Now, once it goes up, value is what? 0, 1, 0, 0, and then 4 will increase one value. How will you increase the value of 4? By just making the next position as 1. In 4 is the really 6 Okay? What about the below position? In 1 is the 0 mark. This position has been changed to 1. So this is compared. This is equal to 2. Okay? Now, so this 6, this 6 is there, right? So now this 0, double 1, 0 will be coming here. 0, double 1, 0 will be coming here. So this 0, double 1 is nothing but what? 6. So now 6 volts is compared with your 7 volts. So if you just observe all the process, first it was comparing the 8 with 7, next 8 with 4, next 8 with 6. So like that it is approximating and it will, and it will be providing the perfect value at last stage. Right? So now this 6 volts is compared to the 7 volts. Now you tell me which is greater again the 7 volt is only greater. So since the 7 volts is greater, again at this point it will be not coming down, it will be going up. So 
So once it is going up, so what will be the value? It is 7. Here it is 5. So 7. So this will be again 7 now and this will be 7. So 7 and 7 it is matching. So therefore we will be getting the correct digital value at the latch. That is 0, 1, 1, 1. So your analog voltage has been converted to the digital value equivalent to 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So this is called as a successive approximation. Why it is called successive approximation? Successively it will be comparing. Okay. Finally you will be reaching the perfect value. So at last you have write 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. That is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3 till 50 you have. Understood? So this is all about the successive approximation. Okay, I hope you